so let us start the concept of tables and in between i'll be revising previous topic mcqs also okay so tables we know arrangement of data in rows and columns okay uh, horizontal are the rows and single quotes and uh, vertical are the columns okay so in order to start the tables in html in order to insert tables uh, we'll be using table tag table opening and table closing tag marks the beginning and the closing of table okay so let us start the creation of simple table first so i start with the html tag followed by the body tag and giving the background color as silver right now i start with the table tag and the first attribute of table tag i am taking is border border is the most important attribute of table tag if you will not uh, specify the border attribute you will find that no border is uh, created around the table your table will be created without border okay am i clear so i am taking the size of the border as 4 now here pay attention for one very important point uh, sometimes in instruction it will be written size of the border is 4 and uh, students what they did they write this border size is 4 it is not border size attribute will remain border only size word means the thickness size means the thickness of the border is 4 size is just a word representing the thickness the dimension of the border doesn't mean that you write size word over here it will remain border attribute only okay so for the further attributes i'll be discussing that later on right now we'll be creating the simple table then one by one i'll be proceeding to all the further attributes of table tag now in order to create the rows we will be taking tr tag tr tag stands for table row tr tag stands for table row and uh, first of all we will be creating the first row in the first row the number of cells you want that will be signified by pd table data pd tag is used to set the data cells for the table and it is also known as work horse of the table whatever cells you are creating inside the table that cells are possible because of pd tag okay and whatever content in the cell you want to get content is enclosed within opening and closing pd tag the content which you want to store in the particular cell is written in between opening and closing pd tag okay am i clear up to here so let us create the first row tr in the first row i am creating my first cell row number 1 pd closes then name marks and the grade okay so this is my first row now in the first row i have taken four cells pd uh, first cell will be having the roll number of the child second cell will be having the name of the child third cell will be having the marks and fourth cell will be having grade so there are total four cells in my first row and this is my first row in the horizontal direction row is not in vertical shape row is in horizontal direction okay here and 
when we talk of cell you can say the number of columns the number of cells means the number of columns that you have created okay right now moving to the next row i copy paste it and i will be making changes in it i just reduce the font size i make changes over here roll number 2 when i change the marks right again i copy paste and i created the third row i change the grade Then I create the fourth row. Right, clear. So this is my table, which consists of uh, four rows and four columns. Four rows, four columns. Now here. when you have finished creating your rows and columns as per your requirement i'll be closing the table tag so at the end after creating your desired number of rows and column we are to close the table tag okay fine now here i close the body tag and finally i close the html tag let us save this coding i am saving this coding with the name table tenth a dot html right let us see the browser view so i was discussing about the next attribute of uh, table tag that is called border color okay border color is one single word border color attribute is uh, an attribute of table tag that is used to specify the color of the border which will be displayed around the table so right now i am giving the border color red okay border color is one single word check it out in html there is no such attribute which has underscore or which has space there is no attribute in html which has space attribute value can take underscore like target attribute of form tag underscore blank value can take underscore but attribute itself does not contain space and underscore okay clear all right i have a question to ask uh, which tag is used to create the sound or audio in uh, html which tag is used to create sound or audio in html audio tag which attribute is used inside the audio tag to specify the file of the sound uh, sound file audio tag ke andar hum ek tag lagate hain जिसके अंदर हम ऑडियो फाइल का पाथ स्पेसिफाई करते हैं सोर्स टैग एक होता है सोर्स एट्रीब्यूट एक होता है सोर्स टैग एस आर सी एट्रीब्यूट है सोर्स टैग है ठीक है क्लियर है ओके व्हाट आर द टू वैल्यूज ऑफ मेथड एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ फॉर्म टैग two values of method attribute of uh, form tag get and post get and post okay 
which button is used to send data to the server submit which button is used to set the default value bank reset button pick out the odd one out font uh, h1 paragraph input input first three are the container tags input is an empty tag okay aapko symmetry check karni hai pick the odd one mein symmetry kya hai right and there is one mcq in uh, sample paper if you have seen the sample paper of computer applications wo usne order list ki coding di hai aur usne baar usne order list ke output diye hue hain and uh, examiner is asking which output is uh, appropriate 1 2 3 4 1.1 when the list is displayed in the numeric form or alphabetic form dot bhi aata hai saath mein jaise number list mein aapne jaise ye number list hai na वन डॉट मैन ऐसे ठीक है टू डॉट वैन ऐसे अकेला वन टू नहीं होता डॉट साथ में होता है राइट क्लियर इट मीन्स यू हैव नॉट चेक द सैंपल पेपर ऑफ कंप्यूटर ये दैट इज वाई यू आर अन एबल टू रिकोगनाइज वट आई एम आस्किंग ओके सो लेट सी द effect of giving the border color in the table tag now see the red color has come around the border the red color has come around the border you can check it out is it visible Yes, Arpit Aditya part is the browser view visible? Now let us proceed for the next attribute of table tag: border color light. One single word: border color light. तो बॉर्डर के ही चार एट्रीब्यूट हैं बॉर्डर बॉर्डर कलर बॉर्डर कलर लाइट बॉर्डर कलर डार्क चेक इट आउट व्हेन आई एम गिविंग बॉर्डर कलर लाइट द टॉप एंड द लेफ्ट बॉर्डर विल बी अफेक्टेड आई जस्ट इंक्रीज द जूम लेवल चेक इट आउट द टॉप and the left border will be affected when i'll be giving border color light attribute okay and uh, when i'll be giving border color dark border color dark equal to blue now see when i am giving the attribute border color dark the right side and the bottom side will be affected okay the right side and the bottom side will be affected okay anushka you want to ask something come on the video am i clear so today you have done three attributes of table border 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 color border color light border color dark okay please note it down in your registers border color light specifies border color light specifies the color of top and left border 
the color of top and left border. Aditya, if you want to ask something, please come on the video, then ask me. Am I audible? Arpit Aditya Park? Something you want to ask Aditya? Unmute yourself. Sir, many can browser view clear near. Browser view was not clear. I, I'll show it again. I'll show it again. Border color light attribute specifies the color of top and left border of the table. Border color dark. Arshin, please stop your talks. Border color dark specifies the color of right and bottom side of the table. Please note it down. Border color dark specifies the color of right side and bottom side of the border. Okay. Am I clear to all? Is the browser view clear now? Arpit, Pat, Aditya, browser view clear? I'll show it again. Now it is clear. Wait. Now it is clear, Bete. Aditya, now it is clear. All right. All right. Thank you for the feedback. Okay. Okay. Fine. Aditya, I got it. Is it clear now? Now, next is the use of align attribute. Align attribute when used inside the table row tag, TR row, it will affect the entire row. There are multiple workings of align attribute. When I am using align equal to center inside the TR tag, it will, let better please see the LCD all of you. It will affect the entire row. The entire data in that particular row will be appearing in the center when you are applying align attribute inside the TR tag. Second alternative is when I am applying align attribute inside the TD tag, single TD tag, it will affect that particular cell, not the entire row. Now this align attribute I have used inside the TD tag, so it will affect only this particular cell not other cell. Third alternative. I am using align attribute inside the table tag. I am using align attribute inside the table tag. When you are using align attribute inside the table tag, it will not affect, it will not affect the data of the table. Data up the left may have center may have usko kuch effect nahi hoga. It will bring the table in the center. Ye table ko move karega, table ke data par iska koi effect nahi hoga. Am I clear to everyone? Tenth A class. Don't think that if you want to bring data in the center, you can put a line equal to center inside the table. No. A line equal to center taking in the table tag signifies it will bring the entire table structure in the center of the vectors. The default placement of table was left. You can bring in center or right. 
if you want to set alignment of the data that you have taken in the cell, then you have to use align inside the TDR or PD. Am I clear online class? 10 plus, am I clear with the concept of align attribute, all of you? 